Oh, oh, oh moo, moo, moo. May 21st, spring cleaning, part of our spring cleaning series. This is Budala. She is a purebred Turkish Kangal. I did not breed her, but she is papered. She could be sold with or without. I've been trying to uh, get paid what she's worth with papers, and that hadn't happened. So I guess maybe I need to sell her however I can because uh, I'm trying to get my numbers down. She's great with goats. She's a big girl. I'm going to guess she's 135 pounds. Uh, she's good with cats, chickens, kids, people. She's pretty low in dog aggression, and she can take a piss on one leg. She's a talented girl. Isn't that right, Budala? <laughs> come here. Come here. Well, okay. That's kind of how Congos come. But then you mix in a little borble, they come better. <clears throat> Shenanigans. Hey, buddy. This is Congo Borble. That's her cellmate there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're a little more responsive. Over here, while we're doing this, there's another bitch that needs to go. We'll get a twofer here. This is Hey You. Hey You is the sister to this handsome bastard, who's Gronk, who some of you may know if you follow the program. He's a beast of a dog. I don't know if you can... He's... Got to be a buck sixty. Uh, he's a big boy. She's got a great temperament. She's got a bad foot. She's here holding it up. She either it happened sh shortly after birth or she was born with it. I honestly don't remember. I kept her a because she had a little imperfection and b because I really liked her temperament. And when she was young, it didn't affect her movement. But as Time has gone by. It has proved problematic. So she probably needs to have a toe amputated at the least. I don't have interest in doing that. It may be worse. Maybe she needs to lose a foot. I don't know. She's going to catch a bullet if I don't get her a home. So, uh, oh, I can hear the bleeding hearts out there. Oh, I'll be getting calls from the sheriff. <laughs> Every time I talk about putting the dog down, some bleeding heart asshole calls the sheriff and tries to get me in trouble. And the sheriff calls me and says, what's going on? I say, well, I got a dog and I'm trying to get a home because I don't really want to shoot it. And he's like, okay, I get it. Anyway, so maybe we can skip that whole roundabout. But great dog, great temperament. No dog out here more eager to please than her. Oh, well, hell, let's just do this one take style. <laughs> Walk up the road. It'll be one long video, because I don't even edit so much that I can attack and put them three together. So shenanigans here is the sire of these two young males up here. This is Hooligan and Buddy. These are the male keepers. Ooh, Hooligan's very verbal. These are the male Congo Borble keepers from the last two breedings. Hello, Hooligan. Hello, Hooligan. Ooh, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. This is Buddy, his younger brother, by about a year. I think Buddy's got to be getting close to a year now. Ooh, and that's their mom, Home Slice. She's she's messing with the little one. And uh, that guy on the ground there, Buddy, was my mail keeper, but he needs to go. Spring cleaning is upon us. I really need to get my numbers down. And uh, I like hooligan a lot. I don't even really need hooligan, but I'm not. Uh, I like him more. I spent more time with him. I socialized him more. But he was neglected. He's a homeschooled dog whose parents just took the government money and drank it or whatever. Which is to say he hadn't been trained much. Come here, buddy. See if you can get out of that mess. They're, let, they're, they're keeping him in his proper place in the pecking order. They all get on well. In fact, most males by this age, Buddy's age, wouldn't be able to hang out with an older brother peaceably like him and Hooligan do. And Hooligan will pay, he will play with his father, Shenanigans over there, um, at two years old, both intact. So that's unusual. That's a very low dog aggression for these kind of breeds, which is, is always good. All right. Hey, I'm trying to make a movie about him. Hey, host slice, leave him alone. Leave him alone, host slice. Leave him alone. 
Woo! Okay, well, they're going to do what they do. It's feeding time. But, uh, yeah, there's three dogs that need to go. More later. <laughs>